yeah so guys now we are going to download android studio and create a environment to code our first android application for that you need to open uh, google chrome i'm going to choose this now right download android studio choose the first search click on it it's opening if you are a mac user click on download options and choose the suitable version for your computer we are currently a uh, windows user so i'm going to stick to this okay So here are terms and conditions. Uh, just skip to it. Click on I read and agree, and click on download. So depend upon depending upon your speed, it will get downloaded. Like uh, see, as you can see, my speed is 6 Mbps. So I have already downloaded it. So you can. open the setup and while installing just make sure that everything is ticked the android virtual machine and whatever now download jdk to run the java code on your system choose the first option and as we have previously discussed mac users stick to their uh, mac and the windows user can choose from this option click on windows and uh, x64 installer you can download and install the same so i have already downloaded it so now we are going to open android studio okay Yeah guys so now my android studio is open you going to click on file then new then uh, uh, after that uh, click on activity and choose empty activity okay after clicking on empty activity you need to choose the name for same choose is choose it as main activity now uh, open your activity main change this from constant layout to relative layout okay native layout now add a text view in it and add a id for the same now uh, layout for uh, layout width and height should be wrap content wrap content means that whatever the size for the text in that the height and width for same will be the same of the size for the text only now uh, we are going to, we are going to write the text as hello from bharat choose the size as 30 sp uh, text style should be bold like uh, just to for just for the sake of you know it should be made lookable uh, let's say bold italic okay this this is the same now we create a button and by the feature of this button if you click on the button the text would be changed okay so now we are going to open the main activity we have created a function for uh, binding dot btn btn is the id for the set button we have created uh, you can see here see this now in the main activity binding dot button dot set on click listener like we have to make that button on click so it listens the click feature of the user now binding dot text view dot set face type this will create the Uh, bold feature of the and it will change the text size and now i'm going to write as uh, something as dot text for changing the text binding dot text view dot set text i am clicked so if we uh, run this You can see it is starting the my you know virtual machine. 
because I have installed the one in my PC. The whole process of app is wrapped under a folder called Gradle. Gradle con contains all the data of the app and it is built every time when we execute or run the app. So it's currently running. This is the most important crucial step for the app building. So it will take some time. Keep the waiting time. So now uh, my AVD device is open. Let's run the app. So the gradle is building. Now this time it won't take much time because I have already done this once. See now app is installing on my device now. It's launching the activity. The launch is successful. Uh, see. Uh, you can see hello from Bharat and here we have a button called change text if you click on this see the size of the text has been increased and the text has been changed from hello from Bharat to I am clicked so yeah that's all thank you so much uh, in this tutorial we will when we when I click on the button, there is an image will, that will be fetched here and shown above the text. For that, we have used a library known as Glide. Uh, where is Glide? Yeah, this is Glide. This is a library for Android. With the help of this, we can fetch the image from the URL or from inside the directory of Android. This is a dependency which we have to add in Gradle. So, where is the Gradle? Yeah, here is the Gradle. We have implemented this Glide in this dependency, and we have a minor change in our code. Like we have created a image view, but it is currently empty. The ID of the image view is image view. Okay. So in the main activity inside the set on click listener, we have write this code at Glide dot with and load.r.drawable emoji the image name is this and we have bind, bind that image to this image view which we have created so if we run the app it looks like this hello from Bharat and when we click on this uh, button I am clicked hi so that's all thank you so much